Choose wisely. Okay. Now the boy. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. 
And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. I do love my analog camera. Conditions of the air. I should take a quick but picture now. Struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. Well, and if you like haven't, you shame, shame. For, uh, Capturing the romantic uh, urban solitude of the 20th century poet. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Now, Plus, it's perfect for my purpose. And I have to get my I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old school. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This is the last stuff. That word of dance could, or if words could dance, this would be a rain. <laughs> uh, wow. He's kind of a Miss, early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. It's kind of creepy. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Damn, burn. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Sorry, the Max. No more selfies right now. The was done by Robert Cornelius. You can If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? What does this do? Oh. Uh, that's cool. You guys can read that. I'll read it by myself later. Oh, this is Mr. Jefferson. I... People said that I'm like him? Why? <laughs> Why? He's kind of weird. I'm kind of weird. Okay. Okay. I can accept that. Kate. I like Kate. She's, she's pretty cool. Even though... Like... You can just tell, like, she's the quiet one that gets hit in the head with a piece of paper and doesn't do anything. I like that kind of person, because then they're really nice. Whoa. See, look at this. She's nice to everybody, even if they're dicks. Victoria. <laughs> There's Victoria Chase, the elitist. 
Yeah, I kind of got that. <laughs> She's the elitist. No one. Find out all about him cool in your textbook, though. or even online. Oh yeah, it's bell. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So what, like 90% of the class didn't do anything yet? Of course, Victoria has. Yes. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, why did I can't. Aww. What? $5,299? With that thing? What the hell can it do? Does green light mean like night vision? It still wouldn't be five thousand oh, dollars. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think what? Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Everybody oh, totally. I Ooh. only want to share whatever I gifts I have in the world. She's crying, isn't she? Embarrassed. I'll say that. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Um, yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Did I pick the right option there? Paper ball. What does this say? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Things are not going to be okay. Oh. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. What's on here? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Is that somebody's, like, Photoshop picture? That's pretty neat. Alright. Anything else to look at? Whoa, yes. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Uh... Well, he is a photographer, so it's not really... Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Mr. J. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse yeah, us. Victoria. I'd never let one of photography's yeah, future stars avoid think. handing in her yeah. picture. Wait, what, what, what? Uh-oh. I didn't 
That one. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Ooh. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, whoa, TV? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying off. Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Oh. Hot. Then I might send you a special oh, picture. Oh, because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. He plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. To all of you, American girls in the movies. That's Dana talking to I think his name is Justin. American girls like Dolly. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. That's when I fly. I wish October would last forever. And 
looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. To all of you. He's cute. American I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Imagine a world without you. American girls I'd like to. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. American girls in the movies, no one can tell where your heart is. American girls There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. I wish I had an American girlfriend. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. What's wrong with you? Illuminati. Jesus. Oh, why? Now, who would bother to write that crap? Yeah, really. She's missing and probably dead. So, fuck off. You? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh no. Man, why? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. Yeah, yeah. You no, own this bad. school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Uh... So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. Business. You got hella cash. <laughs> That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! No! Whoa! What the fuck? Uh, how? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a photo? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Diane, can I actually reverse time? Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like Of a photographer who perfectly a captured human the human condition machine. in black and white. Wow, that's really Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Daddy freak out. Arbus. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images. When of I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming of course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been I can tell. Since the early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Louis class. A and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally oh. stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? No. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Nice. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still Oh no no no. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. 
I know the feeling. I think everyday heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic What are you waiting for? Go! I had my moment in the camera, I and everybody should have their shots. What are you waiting for? Go! I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. Oh. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, oh my God. don't wait too long. What a John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Oh man, I've had so many of those conversations with teachers. What? Oh. It's telling me I should rewind this? Press control. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. I got really weird. Whoa, I'm trapped. Whoa! Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Hey. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Oh my God. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, he has faith in me? Uh, I'll go take a picture of that butterfly. The girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's sick. I need a hammer to break it open! To tell me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, God. I didn't do it. Uh, good? Am I good? I guess not. Oh god. Ew! Oh look, ew! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Oh man, that's No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Wait. Do not no, no. freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. 
Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Ah, Come back here. Damn it. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could oh, always fuck. be up front with me, Max. Oh, or yeah. have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. the truth or he's gonna think I'm doing something bad but then if I don't if I don't if I tell no oh. well he did have a gun on school property I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls room Nathan Prescott you sure yes he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. Oh, and one of Blackwell's so most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No. Even though... He would then be against you if you say a lie or tell a lie. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Oh, God. Bless it. What the hell? See this? Ooh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? They're everywhere. Huh. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Uh, sure. sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Dorm room? I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. But fear and violence is now. 
<laughs> what are you even getting at here, lady? Dude, it says... Whoa, what was that thing? You just flew across the top of the screen. The thing said like 8 or 19 cents. Yeah, right you know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 oh, yeah. What if something else happened? Uh. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. God, dude, what? Are you kidding? Oh, uh, it was like. Oh. <laughs> Do I really need more coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. <laughs> Make sure you check it out. And my flash drive more. I love this dude, he's funny as shit. He reminds me of me. <laughs> hey Max, let's bust it up. Wait, and study for physics test, so if we bust anything. I'll we'll also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> yeah! This dude's cool as fuck. <laughs> Hi Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello! Sorry, running late, same day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. So you'll see. <laughs> my camera will be ready. See you shortly. Hope so. Okay. Well, that's cool. How do I get the phone going? Uh, oh. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I think I better talk to people because there would there would not be a no reason thing for people to be out here. Oh yes, Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? New? How long have I been here? Have it really been like How long have I been here? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher, and I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Ooh. Well, I heard that from a good source. Wow. Um, interesting. See, you learn something new every day at school. Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class. Better web form in here. Why is um, a super famous guy teaching at some freaking hick school? Like seriously, why? 
why would your super parents like be teaching at some school that is in a town that nobody knows about? Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. There's something not good with that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Nathan's a bad person. Well, he, he's messed up. He's messed up. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. I'll say fair enough. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Oh, wow. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. <laughs> Good guy. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. I'm more Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Oh, Dana's not in the group either. Hi, Brooke. Well, let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Oh. Well, that's a dick question. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. <laughs> this might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Rewind. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. 
I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Brooke. Right. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? Huh? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, oh no. Oh, I can, and then you can drone it. I thought I was going to crash this. Whee! I still got one button to push to make it quick. This one? Oh, this one. Okay. My capture's all like, yeah, you too. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All I wanted to do. What? What just happened? Did I just fuck up? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'm sorry, guys. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B4. You're full of surprise. I love aerial. Most impressive. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. I don't want to go that way. Nope. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, there's a bunch of people over there. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your oh. first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. No! Don't even. Don't even. Don't. Okay. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Oh, dude. I know what a no slide is. I don't know what a tree flip is. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, 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 ha.
You can watch us destroy these rails. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Oh, Would you mind okay. letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Yeah. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my yeah, real okay. muse. Nice Rachel stuff. Amber. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a... Uh... Good substitute news. A good substitute news. AKA. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Pick your head up. Do you not know how to pose, Max? Best oh, portrait good. ever. You sh You knew her? No, but once she asked me... Hard to avoid her... Kills me. Okay. 
Okay. More no way. Pressing shit. Clever. <laughs> Victoria sucks with an X. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You you know him. Oh. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma oh. comes to Blackwell. Things are not going to go as smoothly as I could think. Hey, Evan. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's wow. see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh, my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. <laughs> that was a total cat. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check? Let's. What just happened? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Uh, yeah. You know what, guys? I'm gonna call this an episode as soon as it's all loaded in and such. And then I'll I need to go to my room and return yeah, Warren's flash drive. Going. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you like what you're seeing. If you don't like what you're seeing, just go see somebody else's stuff. Or video stuff. Stuff, video stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, that's gonna be complicated. <laughs> Same button. Turn X split on. Uh, oh, dude! Oh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.